Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is June 20th and this video is to cover my 8, 9 DPO, 7 through 9 DPO, something like that. I am a little bit confused with my DPOs because I'll let you guys know pretty soon. So uh, I have to apologize if you see my video shaking a little bit, it's because it's not on a tripod, it is on a stick. And I'm not really too crazy about the sticks, but that's what I have for now. I cannot find my tripod. Guys, if you think I blew your mind when I told you that I ovulated on cycle day six, you have not heard anything yet. So if you want me to blow your mind even further, come and sit down and listen, guys. My goodness, my battery is going down. So I'm going to try to see if I can do this video in less than 10 minutes but it, i have so much to talk about guys so uh my last video if you watch my video for uh, seven dpo i looked exhausted i was tired i felt drained emotionally i was exhausted physically i was drained so uh from that day until today that's what we're gonna talk about I went to bed that night at about maybe nine o'clock. I got up at about two o'clock in the morning. I could not sleep. It's something that's been happening to me for the past at least four, four, three or four days or four or five days. I go to bed very early, nine, and I am up at uh, two o'clock in the morning and just looking at the ceiling and looking around, unable to go back to sleep. So I woke up yesterday morning and I was in pain. I had cramps, my back was hurting me, and uh, I thought for sure I was having my period. I went to the washroom and um, my period was, you know, not there. As I said, I started spotting on Thursday morning and uh, the spotting is very light. I'm still spotting and um, nothing. So I spent the day yesterday, I was so exhausted that was cycle day 15 and uh, 8 DPO I was extremely extremely tired I took my kids to go play some squash and I had to lie down on the bench because I couldn't sit up I just felt you know very tired I had to lie down the whole hour and a half or two hours I, I lay down on the bench I was not sleeping but I was just Resting my head, resting my back, I just had no energy to sit up. And uh, all throughout the day, I had cramp on and off. And it's really, really faint. Sometimes not so faint, but very brief. Comes five seconds, bim, gone. And sometimes I have the cramp and I have to pay attention to it to really feel it. So uh, I've been having a lot of heartburns and uh, a tension headache started like three days ago. I feel it. It's like here. It's just like the cramping. You feel it very, very light, but not for long. I suffer from migraine. So I know a migraine when I see one. So uh, it's not a migraine. It's not a headache. I don't know what it is, but it's just something that's there. So yesterday I spent the day very tired, didn't want to do anything, but uh, we're leaving in uh, three days and somebody's coming to babysit our house. So we have to clean, you know the deal, you have to dust, which I hate. You have to uh, mop, you have to do all this. I'm on my knees cleaning my kitchen and I'm exhausted. So I woke up this morning, cycle day uh, 16, 9 DPO, and my cervix was still open, but not as much as it was yesterday. To my surprise, my cervix was high and soft, but it was almost, it was closing. <laughs> so I decided at 5 o'clock in the morning to take a test, a pregnancy test. So I did it about 5 o'clock in the morning, and I uh, went back to bed, I lay down, and after 15 minutes, I looked at it in the dark with my iPod light. I put my iPod upside down so I could see it because I didn't want to turn on the light. My husband was still sleeping. 
So I only saw the control line and I put it right beside me and I fell asleep probably around six o'clock. I didn't get up until eight this morning. So when I woke up this morning, I took the test. Usually I put them right on, on my window because it's white. You can really see it when it's down, you know, on the curve of the window because it's white and there's a light, you know, you can really, really see it. And when I looked at it, guys, there was a faint line on the test. I mean, I am not kidding you. I mean, I am still like, holy crap. What is going on? My husband was not here and he's still not here. My oldest is not here. And my youngest is here, 12. And he's my little buddy. You have seen him on my videos. And I called him. I said, Jeremy, come here. Come and have a look at this. And he looked and he said, what is it? I said, do you see another line? He said, yes, there's a very, very, very faint line there. I was ready to scream, guys. I ovulated on cycle day six. Is this a God? Holy, yes, there is a God. And I believe in him all through the year when I when I've been trying, I, every month when I have my period, I never say that, you know, God is punishing me or God is not. I always say, you know, there are people more desperate for a child than I am. God is answering those prayers first. I never say like, you know, you know, be mad and say, you know, I'm not getting pregnant. Why God? Why not? I, uh, so surprised I did not cry I thought I would cry that's why I never take a live pregnancy test because I always think I will start to the ugly cry when I cry my eyes they are like sausages they red and I'm not very pretty when I'm when I'm crying so I always do it and I know you'll take my word for it so I decided to do another test so i'm not gonna even dare to show you because you know you will not see it but guys take my word for it there is a faint line here it's this one i took first time and then i had another cheap one from the dollar store this one and i did it and uh not a few minutes later maybe an hour later Guys, there is another faint line on my test. Me, who ovulated, you know, at the end of my period, who had one baby dance, who has an open cervix for the past at least five, six days, who had absolutely no symptoms except from being tired, my uh, breast, my nipples, my breast is still flat as a pancake, like, you know, always. And no, nothing, you know, when you're trying to conceive, you're always touching and feeling because I've been pregnant before. I know, you know, how you feel. Nothing at all. The only thing I've been feeling, guys, is the cramp, which is so strange, so different from the cramps I've been having over the past year. It's fit. And it comes, it goes. It's just like, hello, and it's gone. So when I took the second one, I think maybe you can see it on this one. I can see it. I, I know where to look for it. But I can see a faint line on there. I mean, guys, this is 8 or 9 DPOs. Fertility friend is telling me I am a DBO. So I uh, I say, okay, I'm going to wait until tomorrow so I can test again. I quickly call my doctor. Guys, I'm leaving on Wednesday for eight weeks. I called my doctor and uh, they quickly sent a requisition to the hospital. But because today's Saturday, they don't open for anything except emergencies so i have to wait until monday to go see if my beta is going up and i'm thinking holy beat 
da. I'm sitting here with you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Could this, could this be it? Could this be a real positive pregnancy test? I mean, guys, you have to come back tomorrow. You have to come back tomorrow to uh, to see if the line will be there again. If the line is not there, then I would say those are just the wraps. But I don't want to be too excited. I'm just trying to take it cool because I don't want to be too excited. And then if it's not, you know... I'm not going to say anything to my husband. I'm not going to say anything to anybody except my, like here. You see the headache. It's this tension headache I've been having. It's I don't even know if it's tension headache. It's just like somebody poked me in my brain with something and then it's gone. It's ding and it's gone. And this morning I felt like like here, like, uh, like I have a light, a light, light headed. So I'm thinking, oh my god, guys, could this be it? Usually when I start spotting, the first day it will be very, very, you know, light. And the next day it comes a little bit more brown, a little bit more reddish. But it stays the same at times. You don't see anything at all. It has never come down to my underwear, except when I clean. But it stays, you know, just very, very, a little pinkish thing. And I never, ever had that. When I was pregnant with my second child, I remember I checked once. I saw a little spring of it. But I never spot. Could this be a girl? <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Honest to God. So, uh. You know, you cannot count yourself out until you have your period. Not just your period. When you see you start bleeding, red bleeding, changing pads after pads. Because I would never, ever, ever think that I could even be talking about a faint line on my pregnancy test. When I ovulated on cycle day six, we did the baby dance once. I mean... The God that we have, the creator we have, he's good to me. And he can be good to you too. So anyway, guys, come back tomorrow and uh, I'll let you know what's going on. See you.